Okay, test number four. New plates, new jar. Everything's connected up, ready. Uh, made a slight mod for the circuit. I've installed 10 amp fuse just to protect it because I ain't got a clue what it's going to do, ampage wise. The plates, six plates, a bit meatier. Um, I've got half a litre of distilled water and a level teaspoonful of baking soda, baking powder. So uh, we'll see how that goes. Like I say, I ain't got a clue what kind of ampage this is going to draw. That's why I put the fuse in. So I'm going to connect up and uh, we're going to see what happens ampage wise. Right, okay, do here we go. God. 10.10, 10, 10, 10, 10. Oh God. She's bubbling. Look at that. Wow. Up to now, that is producing mega. That is really, really well. That is producing gas. Uh, bubbling away. Looking good up to now. I could drop the amps. If they don't look too much, I could live with it. If, um, yeah. If I need to put, I could put a potentiometer in, a, a resistance in line, and just drop the amps and tweak, if need be. But we'll see. I'm not going to rush into that yet. It's still cool. Still producing well. She is bubbling well. Now that looks like pretty usable gas to me. Um, I'm quite impressed. All we've got to do now, I'm going to leave it running for a bit, obviously. I just want to see how hot she gets. That's all I'm concerned with now. I'm busy I'm I can live with. Uh, 10 amps, it's really like having your headlamps on. Uh, and all your lights on. It's like your Volvo, it runs with daytime running lights on all the time anyway. And you're drawing about 5 amps there. And about somewhere like 100 watts. So, uh, yeah. Obviously, the battery, of course, is fully charged. It's um, without the battery charger on, it's 12.6 volts. With the battery charger running, it's uh, just over 13. So the voltage is usable voltage, which is what you'd get when you're running the car anyway. So we'd be looking uh, normally a car when it's running normally, we're charging about 13.6 volts, which. Uh, it would be doing all the time if it needs to, so it can cope. The alternator could cope with it anyway. So up to now, that looks good. And I'll tell you, I don't think uh, I need to modify the uh, setup. As long as it don't get too hot, I'm well impressed. So, I think what we'll do now, I'll let it run. No point in just sitting watching it. Amps have gone up at 11. They are going up. If it blows a fuse, okay, I'll tweak the ampage a bit. I don't know. We'll see. Producing, that is usable. That's ready for testing. So that's the next thing to do. I'll uh, let it run. Make sure it doesn't get too hot. And then the next test will be to uh, do a spark test and see how potent this gas is. And then we'll uh, look at making some kind of a permanent setup. Uh, with a bubbler, uh, probably a water trap to stop any moisture getting into the engine and, uh, and obviously a flame guard. So yeah, okay, so that's test four and up to now that's looking good. So um, the next one will be uh, probably more interesting when I, when I start to pop it off. So I'm going to make a sparkle up and uh, do it safe. I'm not going to take any chances. And uh, we'll see how we go. Right. Okay, then. More next time. Thank you.